Yo, before this video starts, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video because it's gonna bang for sure. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And yeah, that's about it. And uh, enjoy the video. Peace. New video. Yay. Now, obviously, I'm going to cut all the bullshit and start a new series called Honest Interviews. And my first guest is... Roll the clip. Cristiano, like I mentioned to the listeners, this is the most honest interview you'll ever be part of. So let's get straight to the first question. As a big fan of you, I'd like to know what makes you the real GOAT, the greatest of the all time. What makes you the real GOAT? I think I'm good, but I think my main strength is sex. I think I'm addicted to sex. And I think it's not something bad. I think it's good. It's mo it motivates me. 75% of my life is sex, and the rest is, you know, the sex. 100%. Okay, uh, that was uh, interesting. Uh, I think that's how you train every day. What? Well, that was interesting to know something about you, I guess. You always say that Georgina Rodriguez is the love of your life. You, s you always say in several other interviews how she's helped you grow as a person. Tell to the listeners how special of a person she is. You know, it's, it's, it's part of me. She helped me so much. She's a, a fantastic person. Of course, I'm in love for her. Uh, she's the mom of my kids. True. And I'm, I'm so passionate for her, you know. It's, it's great. She's my friend. You say so much nice stuff about her. Why don't you get married already? You ain't getting any younger. You're already 34. Why don't you get married to her already? Don't make me pressure. She's not the priority. Then what is the priority then? Please say something good. Close 100%. Really for that? Sex. It's it's beautiful. It's my mom's dream as well. It's your mom's dream. Oh my. Yo, I thought he was going to be honest, but uh, he's literally giving me details about his sex life. What's going on? And his mom loves it. Now, obviously, your departure from Real Madrid, in my opinion, should have never happened. You would have still stayed at the top. Probably would have won the sixth Ballon d'Or with us, but now Messi has won it because of your decision to go to Juventus. Tell me how the transition phase was from when you left from Real Madrid to Juventus. I think I'm not gonna forget that 2018 probably was the most difficult year of my life in terms of football. Madrid was better than. Wait, 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 wait. What if Madrid was better than? Then why did you leave Real Madrid? I want to suffer a little bit. Okay, fancy you say that. Uh, Cristiano, now I'm going to send you a clip which will probably increase the suffering. This is like something like testing to the limit or something like that. And uh, obviously you love testing to the limit. You always do. So let me just send you this clip and I want to know what your thoughts are on it. So Cristiano, how was that? Wait, are you crying? No, I never saw the video. Obviously. Obviously, I sent you that video. Christian, are you crying? I never saw that video. Yeah, I'm, 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 and for me, it's uh, it's made me sad because everything. Oh, I feel you, man. I feel you. I feel you so much. Sorry. No, nah, I feel you so much, man. Because you should have never left Real Madrid for their banter club in the first place. But, um, you know, let bygones be bygones. Cristiano, apart from Juventus, what do you think is the best club right now? But I appreciate Arsenal because it's a fantastic club.
But Arsenal, I, I appreciate what, what they did for me, uh, especially Arsene Wenger. Who's the best player in the world? Lionel Messi. Who's the best player of all time? Lionel Messi. On your famous rivalry with Lionel Messi, what is your relationship with him like? Is it like the way the media portrays it? Or is it actually that you guys are really good friends? Messi is a fant he's fantastic guy, he's a fantastic player. He's in his history of football. We share fantastic insights for 15 years. But my relationship with him is... I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. We are I'm done. Can't be asked. Can't be asked. This guy is the most horniest dude I've ever seen till now. Guys, I'm not doing this again. Screw it. I don't want to know about someone's sex life. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. If I were you, I'd be thinking, what the hell is my life right now? Subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to see more honest interviews, which is not about someone's sex life, let me know and I will do it with them. Roll the clip.